So we are welcome back, and then we are now going to begin the consigned inventory part. Now. Now see what exactly is consigned inventory. Periodic <laughs> training. Let's go there. Along with the fish and procurement documentation. <clears throat> I will now see the consigned process is not here at all. <clears throat> not here. So let me go there, and then I go to what. The e business documentation. The e business documentation, I go to the purchasing, I go to the total purchasing, I go to the purchasing file. You have this. So, on the e business documentation, purchasing, total purchasing, and then purchasing day five, we have this document. So, this is the navigation for the path for the particular file. <laughs> <laughs> we'll now go on and see what exactly it is. In the industry, what happens uh, when a customer is ordering, if you go on and try to, uh, let us say, he wants monitor. And then to manufacture a monitor, we need a picture tube. And then the picture tube will be available <laughs> only uh, if you order some, let us say, five days before. If you order it today, you won't get it at all. So customer wants the monitor tomorrow. So how are you going to do? It is impossible for you to manufacture the monitor because the picture tube itself is going to come only after five days time. So this is the biggest problem in the industry. So what we do is we will now have our battery limit on the company within which we will have a, what's called an inventory called a consigned inventory available over there. So in the consigned inventory, I will now give it to the supplier actually. We will now place an order and then give it to him. And then he will now, uh, what happens, uh, uh, supply the material and then it will be under his stock. He will be keeping it under his stock. He will now man the people also. They will now keep it on the shelf and then they will now maintain the stock. So let's say 1,000 quantities have been ordered for a particular one. <clears throat> he is now keeping it. He is the owner of it and I am not the owner. I will not pay him also. Later on, what I will do is I will now perform a transfer to regular. Whatever I need, I am going to transfer it regularly. And then I will now prepare a consumption advice for whatever I have transferred. So one, when I prepare the consumption advice for whatever I have transferred, so that portion will now become eligible for a payment. Fine. We are now going to run the pay on result. And then we will now make the payables open interface. And then the invoice will be in the base tables. That means what? Whatever we consume, we are going to pay. And then whatever we receive, we will not pay it. We will not receive. So this is an excellent concept of what? Just in time. So whatever you need is all ready-madely available within your battery limit. And then afterwards, we are now transferring it regular and then we are going to make a payment. It's a beautiful concept in the industry, actually. Uh, suppliers have to unnecessarily stock in our place, but they will agree because we will not tell him that in a month, I will now perform a transfer of uh, approximately 5,000 quantities in a month. So if you give an assurance, then they will now say, okay, sir, I will not even keep 50,000 over here. now." So as and when you need it, you can very well transfer it. So this concept of a consigned inventory is an excellent one in the industry. And then uh, it is a beautiful just-in-time concept. Actually. That just-in-time concept is now excellently met with. And then many, many companies are going for a consigned concept. Actually. Let us now go there and then do it. <clears throat> we'll go to this place. So let us now go there and then create an item first of all. Now go there and then create an item. So it is a consigned item actually. Go to this place. Then now go to what? Uh, product management and then I go to the product information management. Let me create a consigned item actually. <clears throat> Click on it. We go and then create an item called a consigned item. I'm now going to create them the 000 or the mass store for me. So click on OK.
So I will now create item what G03 underscore cons underscore item one. Paste it over here. So G03 cons item one of the one. I'm not going to go there. I go to the specifications. I go to the specifications and then here I go there. I will now go to the purchasing. I, go to the purchasing. Fine. I will now give a list price first of all for this item. The purchasing price is 10 million. I'm giving it. And then I go to the planning area and then make the item as a consigned item. So go that you want to. So here consigned is no on the planning area. I will now make it as yes. So item is now a consigned item. So these are two things which are making it now. And then I go there, go to the associations, then let me associate to the what's called child or good actions, and then go to select NAT. And then here I will now associate the child or select and then click on apply and then click on demo. And then I will now give a save and close. My cons item is ready. Similarly, I will now create a con supplier actually. Item is now ready. We will now create a supplier for this. There is a con supplier. So click on it. We'll now go and then create a supplier. Go to the home icon and then I go to the procurement now. Go to the procurement. Procurement, I go there. And then here I will now go to the suppliers and then I will now create a supplier. Here's a con supplier I'm going to create. So you click on it and then here I go there. I will now create a supplier. If I create a con supplier. Supplier is what? G03 underscore cons underscore sub underscore one. Consigned supplier. The business relationship is spent authorized. So tax is corporation. So click on create. I'm not going to create. Is a consigned supplier actually. Go there, we go inside. So here the generic information we are giving it. I go to the payments now. I go to the payments. <clears throat> and then I will now make one of them as a default payment method. The check is now made as a default. And at this time, you give a save. I go to the address and then I will now create an address on this. Click on plus one. So now we are going to create an address now. So address name is G03. Address name. Country is United States. United States. Address line one. I don't know the G03. Line one. So he is a con supplier. 
I will not put the postal code over here. Two zero zero two zero. I don't need that. I'm not putting the postal code. I will not make ordering and remit to enabled. Ordering and remit to or enabled. And then I will not go to the payments and then make one of the payments as a default payment. Check payment. I am not enabling it as a default. Select it. I will put a tick mark on this one. At this stage, give a save. Click on save and close. The address is now created actually. We will now go and then have to create the contacts. So click on save and close. Now the address is now created with the ordering and remit to. I'm not doing even address. Man. No, okay. no. I go to the contacts and then create a contact. So click on plus. Let me create a contact. I will not say Anunta one. I'm going to the actions, I'm going to select that. So let me add an address to this map. Select it and then click on apply and then click on OK. I'm not creating a user account over here. Open. So click on save and close. So by which it is not getting done. Now let us now go to the site and then create a site. Click on sites. Let me get the site. So click on plus one. Let me get the site. So let me go and then create my site menu. So drop down the address, it will be coming up automatically. You know, the address is now getting copied to the site. I will now make a change in open. I will now say it's a con site. Consigned to site actually. So it's all that. So once when you give a save, the remaining parameters will be getting enabled. Click on save. The remaining will be getting enabled. The remaining tab will be enabled upon save on the site actually. You are saying they will all be getting enabled here now. So click on the purchasing, <coughs> go down, and then in this place, you go there, put a tick mark on pay on use now, fine, I'm going to make a payment only when I use it now. Aging on onset point is what, upon receipt, it gets starts to age actually. And then the aging period is what, one day, fine, zero is not working here, in EBS it works now, fine. So if I receive today, tomorrow only I can pay. So there is an aging period of one day, zero is not working, you make a check, they might have, there is a bug actually. So they might have rectified the bug maybe. Consumption advice frequency, how it is daily. Daily I'm going to do it. And then the consumption advice summary is what at all organization. So these are all the consigned inventory setups on the supplier actually. The consigned inventory setups on the supplier is not done. Consigned inventory setups have been done. I done it. Not. So it's all done. Already. So click on it. I will not give a save and close. Click on it. I will not give a save and close. <coughs> So by which the site is now created, not uh, not a save and close, when give a save now. The site is now created. The invoice summer level is required. So here in the bottom, uh, once when you say pay on use, we have to say at what level you're going to summarize it. So I'll now say receipt level, I'm going to summarize it. The invoice summary level is required on the purchasing tab region. Fine, this is a must actually. So apart from filling up the consigned part, we have to sell up this also. Invoice summary level also has to be explained. So click on save and close by which we have now completed this activity now. The changes were saved. <clears throat> All of them are saved. So everything is now saved. So after having done this, we have now done the profiling, uh, the address, contacts and sites. And then we have done one more, not one more, not one more. The site assignments have not been done. So we have to go and then give the site assignments. I will now go to the invoicing part. And then invoicing part, I will now say is a US dollar. US dollar is the one. I'm going to use it now. The payment currency is again US dollar. I will now go to the site assignments and then I provide the site assignments. Click on plus one. Site assignments, I'm going to provide now. <coughs> 
drop it down and then choose the client view. It is US one business unit. The build also is becoming automatically going down. So I will now say Seattle. Seattle is a location. Seattle is the one. I'm going to choose it now. And so the built location also is the same thing. They will now get defaulted onto the purchase order search. And then click on save and close by which this activity is now complete. Changes are saved. Okay, fine. Now it's all done now. Uh, now we will now submit it. Fine. The site assignment is also done now. Fine. Click on submit. So if you have a submit button, we have to submit. Remember, otherwise you can only save, save, save and close. If you have a submit button, we have to submit it. And that's it. So this completes the creation of a consigned supplier actually. Now we'll now go on and create a purchase order for us. <coughs> we have to first of all create a consignment agreement with the supplier actually. Go there, click on it. We'll now go on and create an agreement. Create agreement. So this is a consigned agreement I'm going to create. And click on the create agreement. So let me create a consignment agreement. It is not a blanket agreement. It drop it down and then make it as a what? Consigned, consignment agreement. Supplier is what? G03 is a con supplier. Let me put the con supplier only. Con supplier is coming. The supplier site, everything will be coming now. It's a con supplier. And click on create. It is a consigned agreement. We are now making it now. So first we will now make an agreement. So yes, the supply so and so, so and so. So click on create and then it will be going into the next screen where we will be creating the supply. Okay, we did in the purchase of agreement. An agreement will be getting created. Go down. Go down. So here in the in this place, the terms, everything, whatever is there. In the consignment terms, if you go on and click on it, you can now see what are the aging point. Everything, whatever you have set up on the supplier, everything has got defaulted over here. The pay on use is also default. Right? Default line as a consignment line is also there. So whatever you have set up on the supplier has all got defaulted over here. And then go there. In the lines region, I will not give a plus. I will not give a plus on the lines region. Item is G03 is a cons item. Not choose the cons item. Not choosing the cons item. Go there. So here it's okay. Fine, go there. Want it. The price has to default on the place. I have not given a price, but it is not defaulting. Fine, go there. Fine, the price. There is given. Fine. Select and then click on edit line. Fine. You are going to edit the line. So click on select and then click on edit line. We'll be editing the line actually. So you go there and then you can even see the minimum release amount, agreement amount, everything Everything is as per the BPA only. I'm not going there. The price break is also as per the BPA. This part we never come at all. Fine. We don't have time to come to these places at all. So go that you want. So this is what it is fine. Go that you want. Click on OK. Y2272 is agreement. Now. I will now copy the agreement over here. Fine. So consign the agreement. Five two two seven two. So everything is okay, fine. All the things are done. So give a save at this stage, no fine. We will now give an amount, fine. The start date is also whenever you are working on an agreement, it has to have a start date, and then you must have an agreement amount also. So whatever you are discussing with this, fine. These are all the mandatory ones, fine. Even though it is not a mandatory, fine. The billing cycle close date, fine. Because I will now save today's date. Now. This is another thing which is required. So today will be closed, and then tomorrow we can create a consumption advice for us. We'll not close it today. The billing cycle closed date is today. I will not give us save now. And then click on the manage approvals. So application developer is that let me submit it. 52272 is now submitted properly. Now 
the document consignment agreement was submitted properly. So we will now wait for this to complete now. Click on it. Manage agreements, the one. 52272, I am going to make a check of it now. Click on it. I will now say buyer is okay. He is the buyer only. I will now log in. Okay. You cannot do it. Otherwise, you leave the buyer and then make a check. It will be undergoing this. If you click on the hyperlink on the pending approval, it will now say how far it has progressed on the automatic approval now. Fine. See, application developer has approved. Task is also completed. Fine. Everything is now complete. 52272 is now very much there. So if you make a search again, it will be open now. The status will now become open now. It's open. Now we will now create a consignment order against this agreement. And we'll now go there and then create a consignment order. So click on it. We'll go there. And then we will now create an order. So create order. So this is a consignment order which you are going to create. The supplier is G03 <clears throat> on sub one. It is not a purchase order, sir. It is a consignment order, remember. So it is a consignment order. Change it. There it is a consignment agreement, and then now it is a consignment order. A consignment order is the one. So con sub one is the one. And click on create. So we are going to create a consignment order. So previously we created a consignment agreement. Now we are now creating a consignment order against this consignment agreement, actually. So it's all coming over here now at the bottom. You can now see each and everything. So click on plus now. So item is what you go there. I will now populate the item, right? G03. And then I'll be populating your consigned item over here. Cons item. So the moment I put the item, you'll now find the uh, details over here now, fine. Right? The 52272 agreement number also will be coming up automatically. See, this is come. 5272 is come. So the item is now referencing this agreement, actually. I will now go for it as a 100 quantities on this. There's no done open. So 100 quantities is not done. My item is there, 100 quantities, and then the location, everything is there. No I will now go to the schedules now and click on the schedules. Select it and then click on edit. The schedules, I am editing it actually. I'm now creating a consignment agreement, consignment order actually. Go there, go down, everything is okay. It's a standard result, fine. So the invoice match option is consumption advice. That means what? We cannot release any payment against this purchase order at all. So only when you make a consumption advice. So only when you make a consumption advice, we can make a payment. Against this PO, we cannot pay at all to the supplier. Even if you want to pay, the payables club cannot make a payment because we have to transfer it to regular first and then afterwards create a consumption advice. And then based upon which only you can make it. So the match option is consumption advice. The reward is correct. So click on OK. Go down. So it's all done now. I will now give the date on which it has been done. Go there and then click on Submit for approval. So US, this is the PO number. Now put the PO number. Consign now. The PO number is this one. I will not submit it. So it is not submitted for approval. It will be going in the approval route now. The document was submitted for approval. Now, if you go on and see this now, this place. So once when the consigned the purchase order is now submitted, we can very well receive it. And then we will not be the owner now, but he will be the owner. He will be the owner of this. 
So let us now create a sub inventory for him now. Fine, fine. Is a consigned supplier sub inventory. So we'll now go there, click on it. We'll now create a what's called a sub inventory for him to receive and then maintain the items actually there. I go to the setup and maintenance. I go there, click on it. I will now go to search the manage percentage, sub percentage, look up percentage, and then enter now. This must be an expense sub inventory so that whatever the items are not costed actually on this. It's a 001 or on which we are working upon. And you can see there are many such available. There. So we even have what happened. There is no consigned sub inventory. Fine, let us now go and then create a consigned sub inventory. This is a supplier sub inventory. Owner. Cons underscore sub. I'm making it wrong. So whatever material is available, it belongs to him now. Fine, it is not our material. And so we will now remove the asset tick mark. This is an expense sub inventory. It is not ours now. Location is what? Seattle. Now give the Seattle location away. So Seattle, I'm not choosing. Location is now chosen. Fine. Click on save and close by which the consigned expense sub inventory is now created. Because it is his material, it is not our material. Now let us now go on and receive the purchase order on his sub inventory now. We'll now go on and receive it on this sub inventory. Click on the home icon. And then you go to the procurement and then you go to the procurement. I will now go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management. I go to the inventory management. Here I'm going to make a reserve. So click on the left hand, right hand side, task carousal. And then here, bring it to the what? Receipts now. And then click on the receive expected shipments and then we are going to make a reserve. So the purchase order number is ready-madely available here. Now. So the consigned PO number is there. So it will not take a copy of it now. Your tab. So click on search, <clears throat> select it, and then click on receive. You're going to receive it. Receiving it on his sub inventory. We are now given him a space here now. A space has been given here. Your sub inventory name is also created. He will now keep the rack, row, everything, and then keep man the sub inventory with his employees, and then he is going to do it. So 100 quantities the one. Then click on create reserve. You know, creating a reserve actually. So once we create a reserve, it will be going inside. So create a reserve is coming back. Click on submit by which the reserve process is now getting completed actually. So click on the receipt is now created. Now click on that. Let us now do the put away of this receipt also. Click on it. We will now do the put away. So put away receipts I'm going to make. So I have not forgotten the receipt number. Fine. I will not query on the PO number itself. Click on search. Otherwise, the GRN is the correct way of querying it. Select it and click on the put away. You could do the put away. So we are now going to perform a put away fine, with that, on it. And then the sub inventory is what? His sub inventory, consigned sub inventory, which is an expense sub inventory. It is not our hazard at all. So click on submit. The put away transaction was created. It's not completed. Now we'll now go on and have a look at the stock of this item actually. So go to the home icon at the top. And then here I go there, you go to the what's called supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. And then let us now look at the stock of it. Click on it, go there. And then you now go to the inventory now. And then go to the manage item quantities and then look at the stock of it. The G03 underscore cons in the item, right? CON and then you give it up, item will be coming. Click on search. It shows you 100 stock when expand it. Expand it. This is the one, this is the area. If you click on the sub inventory, you can now see the consignment details will be coming. If you click on it, it will now show you the consignment details. If you click on the consignment details, you can now see belongs to whom now. So the warning party is supplier actually. The warning party is supplier, and then he owns 100. 
I am not the owner. It is ready madely available in our area. Fine. Items are ready madely available. We can transfer to regular whenever we want. Fine. This is called just in time concept. In a just in time concept, whenever you need the raw material, they are all readily available within our battery limit. You need not have to wait for five days for the supply to manufacture. We have already given this order some one week back itself. And then he has manufactured, and then he has supplied, and then he is keeping it under his own custody now. Now I want twenty five quantities. I am going to perform a transfer to regular. I will not perform a transfer to regular. So that the twenty five will now become mine, and then he is this remaining seventy five. This now go that one. So let us not perform it. You can now see the owning party is what this is the one. He is the owner. I am not the owner. For the entire quantity hundred, he is the owner actually. Let me draw twenty five. Then I become owner of the twenty five now out of hundred. So let us not draw twenty five. I am not going to perform a transport regular. The inventory management. If you go there, click on it. You will now find one consigned inventory is there. Right? Create transfer to owned transaction. We are going to perform a transfer to owned transaction now. So through which we are now going to be the owner now. Did not pass. Go there. Item is G zero three. Underscore co, and then give a tab. Find con supply, con item, and then here you can now put the everything, and then make a search. Now find. I will show you how much is available under the consigned area now. So this is the only one available now. What? Then click on it. Click on the apply, and then click on okay. You know, making a search with these criteria, and then this is the only one which is available. So we are applying it, and then that will be coming up over here on the return side. Now I am not going to transfer only twenty five, which I want now. We have to only pay twenty five only, not the remaining seventy five. We need not have to pay at all. So everything is entered. When click on submit, now twenty five is ours. We are not transferred it to owned actually. So when you transfer it, the item remains on the same sub inventory only. We have to only drag it, and then there will be a sort of a Lakshman Rekha in the area, and then whatever has been kept beyond the Lakshman Rekha, it is ours now. If Sita crosses Lakshman Rekha, she is mine. So likewise, what happens if a material crosses the Lakshman Rekha, it is ours. <clears throat> Not us. Now we go there and then again look at the item quantities. Manage item quantities. Go there. G zero three underscore con to then what happens? Consign item. And click on search. <coughs> So if you go there and then click on it, it is again showing only hundred. And then if you go and then click on the item, it is okay. And then you have to click on this one. You go back one level and then the consigned it is going to be coming. So click again on the submit entry. The consigned it is going to be here. What happens? He owns only seventy five now. So out of hundred stock available on the particular submit entry, he is the owner only for seventy five quantities. The remaining we have already transferred. Now tomorrow morning, because we have to wait for one day now, we will now create this consumption advice. So once when the consumption advice is created, the system will automatically create an invoice, and then it will now become ready for a payment for the twenty-five quantities. This is a beautiful concept, and then uh, many many industries are using this consigned concept for many many items actually. So you must be able to do this very perfectly now. Right? So this is what us. So tomorrow we will now run the consumption advice, and then we will now show you about how it's progressing on this. And that's it. Thank you. So let me stop the record. Find any doubts on the consumption advice? Have once again. Let me see because a very important concept now. Fine. So if you have understood the consigned concept, can you put a green tick against your name now? You have to practice this now. Fine. The very important one. And then on the next day only we can run the consumption advice actually. Good. Rohan has understood. What about the six? Six more. <coughs> Rohini has to read it now. Fine. Good. She will now go through the record and then read it. Fine. Okay. So. Very good. Fate has understood. Rohan has understood in one go. Straight away, beautiful, fantastic. So, Yagnesh, what do you see? What do you say now? Fine. He also has to go through the record. No, fine. Okay, okay, fine. Anyway, go through the record and then try to practice this concept. It's a very important concept. Many many industries are using this consigned concept for very many items now. Fine. We will now create a small shed for the supplier. They will now build it and then they will now keep all the items or whatever has come from uh, the purchase order. And then they will not keep. They will be the custodian of the item within our brad battery limit section. It's an excellent concept, and so it's a very important uh, one which has been done. Let me go out and come now. Leave meeting and come back. Hi, uh, welcome all of you. Nana here, and then uh, we are now continuing our uh, discussion on this uh, consigned inventory. So let me go there and then show it to you. <coughs>
So I will now go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. Check on it. And then you go to the item quantities. I think I was in 001 only. <coughs> Where the manage item quantities. We will now have a look at the cons item. G03 underscore con, and then give a tap. The cons item, thank you, consult. So once when you search for it, it will not show you 100 now. Expand it. Expand it. Expand it. And then here, if you click on it, it will not show you the consigned details. When you click on the consigned details, the consigned item. So supplier is now owning 75 quantities of the 100. The remaining 25, we have already made a transport regular. And then we have given the aging period as one day. Now it becomes eligible for a what's called a invoice creation, a consumption advice creation, actually. So right click on the duplicate. <laughs> And now here, if you go and then have a look at it, supply chain execution, then go to the inventory management, and then have a look at the consumption advice. It is not yet created actually. You go that you want. You will know the review consumption advice is the one on the inventory. You go and then see, <clears throat> and then click on search now. Uh, sold to legal entity is use one. Then give it app. Right? Make a search on this now. No consumption advice is created actually. We are not creating any consumption base. Okay, fine. Already uh, somebody has done it now. Fine. <coughs> not me. But the item is A is 15,000. Fine. There is an item for which somebody has created a consumption advice. Not me, but somebody else. <laughs> so ours is what? G03 cons item one. So this is not the item. So they have done this. And then the other one also somebody has created it. And then if you click on done and then come out of it. You can even say go to the place and then how long it is aging actually. Right? Manage consumption inventory aging now. Click on it. It will not show you the aging of it now. And then the sold to, uh, uh, we can even put the right on open G03 underscore cons and then you tab. So we are not querying on this right effect on search. It says what uh, this much of a quantity is now inventory aging is there. So uh, aging start date is 30th 9, and then aging, aging expiration date is 1 10. So that's what us. So 75 quantities has been received on it. Now we have given one day as an expiration period. <sighs> okay, it's not showing you something. So uh, we can even perform a transfer to vote from here itself. Out of 100, we already transferred 25. And then uh, now is that. So it becomes eligible for a consumption advice creation, actually. Then click on the point. We'll now go and then have a look at the invoice options which are required for pushing it into payables actually. So click on them. And then you go to this place and then go to the setup and maintenance on the company FSM area. This is called FSM area. In the FSM area, let me go and then see the invoice options. I will now drop down and then choose financials over here. And then here in this place, if you go there, uh, I will now say manage percentage. Invoice percentage options percentage right? manage invoice options. Sell the scope. Manage invoice options the one. Sell scope. Drop it down and then sell an ad and then click on the play and go to ask. We are going to put our BU now. So invoice options for a specific BU, you're going to have a look at it, whether it's all set or not. It's US1 and then make a search. The invoice options is a must of either. I will now select it and then click on save and close and then go inside. Go oh, there. So it's all set actually. You can now see that each and every uh, you, uh, or mandatory fields are all having a value actually. So everything is now having a value. Mm -hmm. So this is okay. Fine. So invoice options as the payment terms is immediate actually. So that is what I've been set up. So we will give a cancel for this year's one. This is it. Everything is not cancel. Now we'll now go and then have a look at the periods, whether the periods are open or not. GL and then AP periods must be open. So we're going to have a look at nothing. You go to the general accounting and then go to the period close here. 
we can now see whether the periods are open or not. Only when the periods are open, we can now push the data into the financial systems now, once the consumption advice is created. We have to have the GL as well as the AP period must be open before we run the create consumption advice. So once when you run the consumption advice, it will be going ahead and then it will be doing it. So general accounting and then period close, we are now clicked on. So it's not going to open now. So it's taking a longer time actually. <coughs> the period open must be there actually. <clears throat> so it's not going to open up and then show you whether the GL is open or the payables is also open or not. So you can now see that US primary ledger, the general ledger period is open, and then you can now see the payables also open. Fine for the month of what? Tenth month. We are now in the tenth month actually. So for the tenth month, both the GL as well as the payables are open. Now we can very well run the concurrent now. Fine, go to the phone. We'll go to the space. Go to the home icon. And then I go to the tools and then I go to the scheduled process. I go to the scheduled process. So click on the schedule new process. <clears throat> we will run the create consumption advice. Create cons advice. So we are going to run the create consumption advice. So create consumption advice is the concurrent which you are going to run now. So click on search. So we're not visible as such now, but so, so create. <coughs> Sometimes certain things are not added to this now actually. So what I will do is I will now log in with the, the inventory manager, inventory response, log it out. No log out, sign out and sign in through via inventory will now come in. Yep, con, con, con. I will now say ASCM 08.student. Password is same. I know it won't. I'm going to log in as this now. So probably here we'll be able to have it. So go to the tools and then I go to the scheduled process. Now, right? So the scheduled process is not visible here. So if it is not visible, you click on the wheel icon and then enable it, enable the visibility now. Ah. So I'm not clicking on it. I'll now go to the tools. And then enable the scheduled process. So click on here. The scheduled process is enabled now. So click on the home icon again for cheese for looking at the changes actually. You go to the tools and then you go to the scheduled process. So here I will now run the concurrent called create consumption advice. Percentage C O N S percentage A D B A S E percentage money button is basically a ESS job. Consumption advice is not coming at all. It's not coming. ADBASE. Cons. Click on search now. 
okay and there is a missing adva ca create consumption there is a mistake actually create consumption not sc actually adva c okay come run you can run it so the supplier is g03 and then you have tap is a con supplier actually and then the supplier site and go to put it on. so click on search you will be getting the supplier site click on search this is site so click on okay and then display lot and serial numbers enable it group by transaction type enable it and then create consumption wise report also enable it. there is no serial lot number here now in this case but click on search So once when this runs, it will also be creating a report also, and then it will also create a payables invoice also automatically. It will be creating the payables invoice also automatically. It will be pushing it from print consumption and base import. You can see the import payables invoice has not started. It has not started yet. So it will be importing the invoice into the payables actually. So import payables invoice is not running. Consumption advice report is also getting printed actually. So importing of the payables invoice is also started. So print consumption advice is now got completed, succeeded. Right? Go there, you know how to look at the consumption advice which has been created for yesterday's 25 quantities which we have consumed. And then click on republish. Export to PDF. So now the system has created a consumption advice. I know that it is for 25 quantities, and 20 rupees is the cost. Fine. So this is the PO number, and then the transfer to own lecture. Fine. This is the supplier and supplier side actually, of which the consumption advice is got created. And then this has also resulted in creating an invoice also automatically for 25 quantities. Close it. 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 Then have a look at the monitor process. The invoice import payables invoice is also running now. So import payables import invoice report has also come up. What you know how to look at the report about what it has created. And then click on republish the report of the invoice which the system has created now. So you can now see you use invoice. This is called use. On the date is first of October, and then there's a running number actually. So there's a con sub one for which what happens it is not created. So this is the one, and then there's the taxes and duties, and then all of the all the things, right? Everything separate put together. That is the one. So it has now created one invoice for 250 quantities plus taxes plus duties. So it has now created the invoice also. So it is a use invoice because only upon use we create it. I was working in a steel authority. So there we don't run the consumption advice every day. We do it only once in a week. And then whatever has been consumed in the past one week for which the system will now create a one consolidated consign, uh, consumption advice. And then uh, that will be created as a only one invoice in the payable zone. So that way it works because it becomes too much of a work if you start to work on every day. So, so that's why we are now done like that actually. We will not go there. We are not having any payables here. We will not go to the PRC 10 and then see this now. We will be having a payables. Sign out. And click on confirm. Now go to PRC 10. So here we are given all the financial roles also. I think so. I'm not sure about it. We'll see. We'll see. We have the payables. Click on the payables. And then go to the invoices. Payables invoices, if you go and then have a look at it, so we can now see that invoice coming up on this place. You go to this place, and then here you go to the manage invoices, and then I have no query on the supplier actually. G03 underscore car, what have no. And then click on search. So it says, okay, fine, how many days you want to see? Fine, I'll say 60 days invoices I want to see, and click on go. How much of periods you want to see? I'm not saying. 
for the next for the past 60 days i want to see the reinforcement over the long horizon once it is not yet validated if you click on the hyperlink on the invoice it will not go inside so it has got three parts one is the use name and then one is the date and then one is the running number now right? so invoice has got three parts the use invoice find out what no it's going it is not yet validated so i will not go to the place i will not go to what actions and then i will not validate the invoice so click on validate you will not see once when it is validated you can very well pay it actually you can make a payment of this invoice is the use invoice so the invoice is now getting validated everybody try to complete this consign the process at least once now right so if you already yesterday you created it you can now continue today and then through the consumption advice because here the system does not work for zero days of aging actually it needs at least one day of aging so it is now validated so once it is validated you can very well make a payment actually the payment can be very well made the lines are good so this completes the discussion on the consigned inventory any doubts on this one okay fine i will now go out and then come back then uh, we will now begin receiving now fine the next major topic is receiving so we leave and then come back again